uh, the next problem which are going to discuss is the problem uh, on beams um, beam with UDL so this is the beam of uh, length uh, of length 1 6 meters and is subjected to UDL for a uh, 2 meters length and the point load at point B and point C point E So the area of cross section is 0.2 meter and 0.2 meter that will become maintained consistently in meters. Pisces ratio is 0.3. Let us go. Everything uh, remains the same. Only the new concept here is applying uniformly distributed load. Right. Clear and start. I am reading the new file. Preferences. Structural. OK. P processor. Beam element. Add. Beam. 2188 ok option i need to check cubic form or fermesh check function ok close material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic inks models i will define in uh, gpa 210 e power 9 point 3 say ok ok close section common section common section beam common section since it is 0.2 into 0.2 meter it is a rectangular uh, square cross section take uh, is, if you define it will understand 0.2 into 0.2 say apply to you a square cross section is created 0 0.0 0 0.04 meter square area ok modeling create nodes in active coding system first node is the origin say apply second node is at a distance of 1 meter say apply third node is at a distance of 2 meter apply fourth node is at a distance of 4 say apply fifth node is at a distance of uh, 5 meters say apply sixth node is at a distance of 6 say ok elements auto numbered through nodes first and second say apply second and third ok third and fourth say ok third and fourth say ok fourth and fifth say ok fifth and sixth say ok next loads defend loads apply first we will defend the uh, loads loads Define loads, apply structural displacement on nodes, select this node, say OK. This is an example of a simply supported beam. UX, UY, UZ and rotation about X and Y is fixed. It is free to rotate, rotate about Z direction. It is nothing but it is uh, since it is simply supported beam that the uh, slope is not zero at the fixed end. Say OK. On nodes, select this node. It is also free to translate in X direction. UX is free also. Uh, the deflection is 0 at y, hence y is 0 and it is free to rotate about z. The slope is not equal to 0. Okay. Fourth are moment. First I will uh, demonstrate how to use uh, the U UDL. For that you should take force arm, uh, you should take for that we should consider pressure on beams. Select this say ok the magnitude remains the same say 10 kilo newton per meter 10 e power 3 you can leave blank here or if you want to apply after 10 e power 3 it's one the same leave blank for uniform pressure you can leave it blank if you want 10 e power 3 say ok so i made a mistake here the pressure what i made a mistake here the load what you have to consider the load key has to be applied let me correct it Defend loads, apply pressure on beams, select this element, say ok, load key has to be 2 for y direction, ok, and the load is negative y direction, minus 10 kilo newton per meter, say ok, the, sorry, it has to be plus 10 kilo newton per meter, I will correct it, apply pressure on beams, 
select this say ok this has to be positive node key to say ok pressure is applied and we need to apply two point nodes four sub moment on nodes select this node and this node say ok magnitude is the same f of y direction minus 30 e power 3 say ok this is of the loading and the boundary conditions we completed the modeling part solution current load step say ok solution is done for uh, we need to call the element table element table define table add by sequence number smic 3 and 16 SMIC 3 and 16 for bending moment diagram apply SMIC 16 apply by sequence number SMIC 6 apply SMIC 19 okay this is for shear force and bending moment okay. plot results el line element results SMIC 6 and 19 for shear force diagram 6 and 19 they apply this is how the shear force diagram would look, look like SMISC 3 and 16 for bending moment diagram say okay this is the bending moment diagram in order to view the deflection you can view the deflection also you can go to plot results nodal solution degree of freedom solution this deflection variation say okay maximum deflection you can see you can also see in terms of number also this is the deflection you can also uh, see the animation animate uh, deform shape deform press and deform say ok this is how the beam is deflecting under the load okay. and uh, to view the stresses list, uh, list results element solution x component of stress say ok Stresses induced will be displayed like this. Element number node 2, node 3. Okay. Thank you. Or the other way of uh, seeing the stresses is in terms of uh, uh, plot results. You can go to plot results. Element solution. For that, you need to switch on the style element shape. Okay. Okay element solution ok these are the stresses in this maximum stress is 39 MPa in the x direction this is where the bottom fibers are subjected to maximum stress this is about the first problem and this is about the problem on beams with UDL this you can see here thank you